Both the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 are now here. We've officially reached the next generation of consoles, and I've had some people asking me about Battlefield on the next gen, as I personally now play on the Xbox Series X. Does it work? Is it worth it? Is anything different? Do you still play with those on the previous generation? Etc. Questions like that. So, let's help out some of you who are interested, because I've seen some videos out there proclaiming that Battlefield is amazing on the next gen, without really talking about why or qualifying anything. So, it's time to actually get into that in this video with Battlefield 1. This video is brought to you by the Board of Awesome from the epic people who support the channel on Patreon. Also, many of you watching probably don't even realise you aren't subscribed, as over 80% of my viewership at the minute comes from non-subscribers. So consider hitting that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out, and push the channel closer to our current 60k subs goal from the 57k we currently sit at. Thank you very much. Okay, right, to the important details. What you're watching is gameplay Play recorded and rendered at 1440p, played on an Xbox Series X, utilizing 4K capabilities, and I personally, when I play, view it via a 4K monitor, so that you can get a grasp of what you're actually viewing and what you can expect from the game itself based upon what you personally use. Now, yes, Battlefield 1 is backwards compatible on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. It's fully functional, you can download it directly on the console or via a disc, or as I initially did, you could utilize a compatible external drive with your games previously saved from your prior console, just like say make sure it is compatible, at least that's worked for me. A super key tip though, if you're subscribed to EA Play or Xbox Game Pass, which by the way the Game Pass does also work on PC, or you're considering opting into one of those services, Battlefield 1 is available as part of those packages, so for no additional cost you'll be able to download and play it, uh, so don't cost yourself additional funds by buying it before then subscribing to EA Play or the Game Pass. So say you now have BF1 on your next gen console, you will be able to play against those also on that console and the one prior to it, meaning Series X users can play with and against Xbox One users, and PlayStation 5 users can play with and against PlayStation 4 users. So you can put to rest any fears about having non-existent play bases on BF1. That said, it's not the most highly played title anymore, don't expect lobby upon lobby to choose from, but I can personally always find something to play on BF1 on Xbox, and with the game Pass and EA Play being so good now, these numbers may even boost up a bit. Of course, do keep in mind that the time of day you try to play and the region you're in will have an impact. Playing in the UK or US, for example, you'll probably be good to go, but if you're in somewhere like South Africa, well, you might struggle a bit more. So what about the actual performance? Well, Battlefield 1 did get an upgrade for Xbox One X and PlayStation 4 Pro, and now on Series X and PS5, you can play in what appears to be native 4K at 60 FPS. I believe it's 60 FPS, it's at least that. And it really is a visually pleasing experience. Uh, now it's hard to get nailed down official information of this stuff, but it for sure appears more crisp and clear for me on my Series X, with seemingly more consistent frame rates than when I was on my Xbox One or Xbox One X. On the previous generation, the game would drop its resolution and frame rate if things got too busy on screen, so when there were lots of players, explosions, effects, whatever taking place, the game would downscale to cope with it. The improved hardware of the Series X and PS5 therefore obviously reduces the instances of this taking place, just all around providing you a better experience. Now I don't have nailed on figures, but having used my editing software to slow things down, go frame by frame, and stuff like that to analyse the game, well I've noticed no real issues with the footage at all when recording from the Series X. Consistency really is the key term, it's just better than on the previous generation. This also therefore helps with the issues of stuttering that could be fairly prevalent on some previous gen consoles consoles, and indeed if you utilise the internal drive of your next gen console, you need not worry about loading in after everyone else all the time, missing out on vehicles and such like, as some frequently had to endure on slower previous gen consoles. So how much of a difference that all makes to you is totally up to you. Maybe a lot, maybe not at all, but for me it makes for a much more enjoyable experience. And actually let me add, some that have been around this channel for a long time may be aware that my eyes aren't great, I struggle to see details and players on some games, in some circumstances circumstances, I get serious eye strain and stuff like that, well on Battlefield 1 and indeed every other game I've played since getting a Series X and a 4K monitor, I've had no eye pain and a far far better time actually picking enemies out and stuff like that. I just thought maybe that would be relevant to some of you out there as well. So how much more can be achieved with these new consoles on older games? Well a lot, clearly. Resolution, frame rate, whatever. Some companies will utilise it and some won't. Will DICE? Uh, that remains to be seen. But there's 
is absolutely scope for further improvements. And with that covered, I really hope this video was of use to you. Hit like, subscribe, all of that if you enjoyed, leave me some comments, whatever's relevant. Uh, the rest of the video will be more footage of me playing on a Series X without distraction, so you can really analyse it and take it in should you wish, weigh up whether it's worth it to you. All the links to my social media such as Twitter, Twitch, Discord, etc. can be found in the description and pinned comment. And with that all said, I'm Get Good Guy, and I'll see you next time, laters. Munition zu mir! Ein Maschinengewehr! Ich mir die Wunde mal an. Lass mich deine Wunden versorgen! Du bist verletzt. Ich kann dir helfen. Für dich, Kamerad. Erste Hilfe. Das Ziel verteidigen! Ich hab den Piloten gesichert von der Gegenseite. We have taken objective apples. <laughs> Wir dürfen das Ziel nicht verlieren, verteidigt es! Da, feindliches Luftschiff! I must add that of course it's going to be difficult to do all these things with the pandemic and working from home and how the workload changes and the way that it's all managed and handled. So don't for a second think I don't, you know, keep that in mind, don't appreciate it. Um, I'm sure it is pretty tough and it's cool to still be getting updates, but 